you guys. Welcome back to Manifesting Secrets. My name is Keisha Love. I am a manifestation coach and I am here to help you to get rid of any negative um, disbelief that you have that is keeping you away from manifesting your desire. Okay? So once again, let's get on the topic of SP because that is the main topic that everybody loves to talk about. Including me. I love it. I love it. I have to master this. So anyway, um, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like that. I will leave the link in the description box. Um, and um, so, let's get to it. So let's get to it. Do people have free will? Do your SP have free will? No, they don't. Nobody has free will unless you give them free will, okay? Not in your reality, okay? So if your SP is doing something that you do not like, if they're showing up and treating you like crap, if they're ghosting you, or they're not calling you, or they're leaving you on red, hmm, then you need to change that. Because the only reason why this is happening is because you're allowing it to happen. You are allowing them to treat you the way that they are treating, okay? So don't feel bad, because now that you know that you created it, then guess what? Now you can uncreate it and you can create something that you do want. Something that's a little bit more pleasant, okay? So, you want your SP to call you, then you need to start affirming that they're going to call you. And you need to persist. You need to persist. You need to persist, okay? Don't just say it one day, two days, and say, oh, I don't see nothing happening. This, this shit isn't working, okay? Trust me, you have to be patient. You definitely have to be patient. Okay, I did this. Trust me, been there, done that. I know how you feel. It can be nerve-wracking sometimes. But we do not understand everything about how God made the world, okay? There is a lot of things that you cannot see, but you know, you know that it's working. Just like if you jump off a building, guess what? Where are you going? You're going down, okay? So you don't see gravity, but you know it's there, okay? You can't feel um, the radio, but you can hear it. You can hear it. You can hear it, okay? You, you can't see wind, but you can fucking feel it, and it can knock a whole building down if it's hard enough, if it's strong enough. It can tear up a whole city if it's strong enough, so, but you can't see it, but you know it's there. So the same way when manifesting is you can't see it but it's always working you have to think like that you can't see it but it's always working we can't explain we don't know how this stuff is but just know it is okay you have been manifesting ever since you were able to think okay so now that you know that you're the only person in your reality that has the ability to think then you need to start thinking for your SP and stop letting them think for you. All right, so you gotta start. You gotta. You gotta start working with your subconscious mind and start telling it what to do for you. Okay, and just stop being on autopilot all day and letting it just you just manifesting all over the fucking place. Stop doing that shit. Stop it right now, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna just be creating hot and cold behavior with your SP and you just not going to be happy. One minute they're going to be cool because one minute you're thinking, oh, okay, they call me. Okay, they do like me. They like me. And then the next day they're not calling you. Oh, they don't like me. What happened? They don't care about me. So now you got this hot and cold behavior going on. Okay. So, so whatever you want to happen, that is the only thought that is going to serve you is what you want. So you want them to call you more, to text you more, then guess what? That is the only thought that you need to be thinking and that and, and you need to um, start visual, I mean, you can visualize, but that's not what I'm thinking. You need to start affirming. Affirmations are very, very powerful. What affirmations is, is changing the way you believe, is changing the way you think, okay? That's it. So, you need to start affirming that your SP is in love with you. 
You need to affirm that your SP is um, always thinking about you. You need to be like, my SP is always thinking about me. My SP is in love with me. My SP is spending all of his time with me. My SP is always texting me good night and texting me in the morning good morning. My SP is just doing whatever. My, my baby loves me. Like, oh my God. And whenever you have um, a thought that try to come in and contradict that, you need to boop, delete that shit right away. Because those motherfucking thoughts is not your friend. All they want to do is going to fuck up your life and have you sad. So don't even give it the time of day to even give it energy. You don't want to. Don't don't feed it, okay? Because whatever you feed grows, okay? So remember in my last video where I talked about your, uh, your garden. So you want to, you want to keep your garden growing healthy fruits. And when the weeds grow up, which is a negative thought, you need to zap it right away. Like, immediately, like, get rid of it, period. Because you don't want to dwell, dwell in it for a long time because that's when it's going to manifest, okay? So, in order to get your SP to start calling you, you need to say, um, my SP is calling me now. My SP is calling me now. So, you want to keep saying that until it suppresses upon the subconscious mind once it get in the subconscious mind and it's going to start to express that is the job of the subconscious mind to take your but the subconscious mind only believes and express what you believe okay that's it that's that's that is her only job okay so the conscious mind oh this is a whole nother story i need to do another video on this the conscious mind is the male and he don't let a lot of stuff get to the subconscious mind. He don't let a lot of stuff get to his girl. That's his girl. So he don't let a lot of stuff get to her. But once you start saying stuff over and over, he gets tired and say, you know what? Talk to the subconscious mind and see what she can do with it. Because I'm sick of her saying that my SP is head over heels in love with me every day, every day. My SP is calling me. My SP is calling me. My SP is calling me all day, all day, okay, okay. At first he didn't believe it. Now he believe it. And now he gave it to the subconscious mind. And now it's going to start to show up into your reality. But you got to say it enough so that it can stick into the subconscious mind and start to show up in your reality okay that's like when Reverend Ike said you got to be crazy enough to get what you want okay you got to be crazy enough to get what you want this stuff sounds crazy it sounds far-fetched it sounds weird but guess what we only use a lot of people only use 10% of their brain okay so there's 90% brain left over in there that we don't even know we ain't touched we don't know even know how to work it but guess what there is so it's so powerful that it's almost weird to us because that's not the way we were programmed or we were raised to think so now you got to start doing some shit that you wasn't used to doing and you need to start you need to start telling people what the fuck you want them to do and stop letting them tell you what to do you need to remind yourself that you are the god of your reality and they're gonna do what the hell you want to do i mean they're gonna do what the hell you want them to do period period we ain't have it in no other way because i am the boss here okay i give the orders not my sp so if i say your ass is going to be calling me you're going to call me if I say you're going to take me out to dinner and you're going to treat me like a goddess, you're going to treat me like a goddess because everybody that I like or is attracted to treats me and loves me like a goddess. Okay? You can just keep saying that or you can do it. You can be specific and say, your guy, let's just say Michael. Michael loves me like a goddess. Michael is in love with me. Michael cannot stop thinking about me and when you say it you need to say it like you mean it okay you need to say it like you mean it you need to say Michael is in love with me Michael cannot stop thinking about me Michael is constantly contacting me every single day all day okay because Michael knows that I'm the best that he can do I am the best that he can do okay I am first best I am always the winner you need to keep saying that over and over Cause you're changing yourself you're changing your belief to be to be a goddess to be good enough because you are good enough
stop feeling like you're not good enough. Please, please, please. I don't want you to feel like that because you're giving away your control. And you shouldn't do that. You are beautiful. And guess what? This reminds me like of a story. One time I felt like I wasn't good enough at the time. Sometimes it happens to the best of us, okay? And one day I was like, no. I looked myself in the mirror and I said, no, I am good enough. I said, I'm a, I'm a movie star. That is what I said. So I went on about my day, did my hair. I went into like a fucking store. And I tell you, this one guy came up to me and was like, wow, you, you, uh, you look like I've seen you somewhere before. You've been on TV? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, because I've been in a few films. So I was like, yeah. So then um, later on, I'm walking and another person was like, have you been in a video or something? And then another person was like, damn, you look like a movie star. And like, I'm thinking like, whoa, this is not a coincidence. This shit is real. So whatever you think, other people are, are going to think the same stuff. You are a mirror, okay? So they didn't have free will. Guess what? I gave them, I made them say that I'm an actress. I made them think or say what I wanted them to say and guess what they said it so don't give your SP no more no more free will there is no need for you to be sad you are a powerful creator there's no need to be sad there's no need to be crying there is no need for none of that because guess what that is a waste of time no you're giving your power up if you do that so don't do it no more no more no more no more no more your SP is in love with you and you keep saying that write it down if you want to say it whatever you, whatever to get it to, to stick in your head and stop giving a flick about the 3d if you can do that then you're going to get your SP you're going to get your SP I mean who are they I mean they just another puppet they're puppets so stop giving a fucking puppet your free will, giving them free will. They're puppets, okay? So string them along and have them do what you want them to do, period. No more crying. Wipe your tears away right now. I mean, wipe it away right now and man up, woman up, and take back your control. Now. Right now. Right now. I mean it right now no more feeling sorry for yourself because if you feeling sorry for yourself guess what they're gonna feel that energy we're all connected so when you start warming up and feeling like a boss acting like a boss showing up like one guess what they're gonna be bowing down to you wondering where you at why you ain't called them thinking about you because guess what you told them to think about you guess what you told them to call you Whatever you're thinking, then a light bulb is going to pop up in their head and be like, wait a minute. I do, I think I want to call her. Or I think I want to call him. Or, damn, um, such and such is fine. Damn, she's sexy. Damn, he's fine. Or, damn it, I think I want to be in a relationship. You get, you get what I'm saying. So take back your control right now this today we're going to take back our control so why don't you comment in the comments below and comment i'm taking back my control right now okay if you made it this far to this video i hope you like it because we're changing we're changing hey this we are new people now fuck that old sad chick or sad man that ain't us no more we walking with our head up high because we are the gods of our reality damn it and when you know that and you know it and you see the stuff start to show up in your reality, it's going to get better and better, better and better, baby. Put the cherry on top. It's the icing on the cake. That's the beauty of it. All right. So don't forget to subscribe. Be a part of my team. I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if you need further help, just a, a push to get you right on, on track. Then you can email me at lovelysecret90 at gmail.com. And we can go from there and I'll be more than happy to help you along the way to get what the fuck was already yours. <laughs> Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you as always. See you next time.